Thank you for visiting Angel Kings, where we show you how to invest in America's next top startups. I'm about to review Betterment, a popular website for investing. Hello, startups and investors. My name is Ross Blankenship. I'm the founder of Angel Kings and the author of the best-selling book, Kings Over Aces. I've invested in some of the best companies in the world. And I've also used some awesome platforms that will help you as an investor, whether you're investing in private or public companies. I'd like to give you some insight into a website called Betterment. You might have seen this company on the web. Maybe you've seen them on TV. But Betterment is a, of a new class of what's called robo-advising or robo-investing that is a platform where you can, as an investor, put money at a very low fee every month and invest in things automated into what's called ETFs. Now, ETF, ETFs or exchange traded funds are a nouveau, new type of way to invest in a, a, a block of, uh, of companies that are publicly traded with a very low fee instead of having to pick stocks one by one. Betterment has taken off in terms of their user base, they've raised millions of dollars, and now, as I said, you've probably seen them at some point if you're watching this review uh, and want to learn more. What are the positives? Well, the first positive about Betterment is it democratizes investing. Investing for, for years, if not hundreds of years, was all about finding somebody to put money into a company for you. What Betterment does is it reduces fees and allows you to automatically deposit money every month into an account, into an ETF, such as Vanguard, and to really just let it ride over time. There is a difference between trading and investing. Traders day trade or go short term, think short term, whereas investors think long term. And investing in Betterment is more about the long term. They also provide very low fees under what's called AUM or assets under management, depending on the amount you invest, whether it's $500 up to a million plus, that could be between $10 or $50 a month rather, up to a couple thousand dollars a month, depending on how much you have in there. That does historically be traditional wealth management uh, fees. Uh, which could be anywhere up between 1% to 2% on your money. That's a lot more uh, per year. Okay, so what are negatives about Betterment? Well, there are. In fact, there's a lot. With automated investing comes hazards. Um, and, you know, the biggest hazard is once you put your money in, it's very tough to get it out. From personal experience, I tried Betterment and found that after a while, it was very tough when I needed to withdraw some money for another project, Betterment made it pretty difficult. So I will have to say that once you've got your money in, don't expect the ease of use as of right now to get, a, get that out. And I think they should improve that if they want to be more widely adopted. The other, another uh, negative or thing that Betterment should improve is that the, many of the risk of automated investing are not disclosed. I mean, yes, they've got the boilerplate language on their homepage at the very bottom, but you know, in, in size, what small font, but the reality is that when you invest in an ETF or a exchange traded fund through a site called Betterment, um, it, you, know, you, you are essentially allowing your money to sit there and grow, but you're not realizing that if the market were to drop and if you're uncomfortable with that drop, you know, you, you will have a hard time uh, moving that. And ETFs can actually, uh, their volatility, what's called beta, the amount they move in any given time can be higher. Okay, so you know you have the benefit here of a lower fee that beats mutual funds in investing in an automated system like Betterment has with ETFs, but there are risks, meaning you know that that inability to access capital is real. Um, also, the mobile app is pretty weak, um, and when I say weak, you know I'm sure you have either an Android phone or an iOS or if you're one of the few has a Microsoft phone, or maybe you're a BlackBerry person watching this, whichever one you have, all their mobile experiences are very weak. And, um, you know, look, if you at Betterment want to make this a bigger platform and more widely adopted, you've got to fix your mobile app or, you know, investors are going to demand better. No pun intended. So what does Betterment need to fix? Well, I'm a consumer and I've used Betterment and I say, look, you've got to make better, faster access to your money. And once an investor puts money into your platform, that's great. I'm glad you can sit back and relax and make money off of these passive or make money off these investors passively. But 
give an easier way to transfer in and out. I mean, that accessibility and free flow capital is extremely important. Also, your mobile experience is terrible. Improve it. Um, you know, we expect more as consumers, and I hope now that Betterment's uh, growing so fast that they'll allocate more capital in their project pipeline to make their iOS and Android experience better. Listen, if you've got questions about investing or if you're an investor, I want to encourage you to take a look at our site, angelkings.com backslash invest. Start making money by investing in the best early stage companies at angelkings.com. This is Ross Blankenship signing off for Angel Kings. Good luck. Now, I want you to do something. Go to angelkings.com backslash invest where you can get the first chapter of my book for free. Secondly, I want you to subscribe to the channel right here so you can continue to get the latest updates and investor tips to help you make some serious money. I'm Ross Blankenship, the Investing King, signing off.